Hi everyone, my name is Lily and I'm going to teach you about shark adaptations. But first, a little about me. I live on Cape Cod and I've been so lucky to be a member of the Gills Club since it first started when I was five. Through Gills Club, I've had so many opportunities to learn about sharks, meet some amazing marine biologists, and even see sharks being tagged in person. It's been such a great experience. I can't wait to work with the Gills Club science team when I become a marine biologist in a few years. Shark adaptations. An adaptation is a change or the process of change by which an organism or species becomes better suited to its environment. Some examples in sharks are teeth, color variations, shape, size, and many more. Sharks have been around for about 400 million years. That's 200 million years before the dinosaurs. The oldest found shark fossils didn't even look like sharks in our oceans today. Some are described as e-like and don't look like a shark at all. Sharks were able to survive five mass extinctions. Sharks stayed alive through these mass extinctions because they're constantly evolving and adapting. Let's dive into some of the different adaptations that sharks have. Great white sharks have torpedo shape and dermal denticles, which both help the white shark swim by reducing drag. Another adaptation in white sharks is countershading, which is a form of camouflage. Their lighter belly blends in with the sky above and their darker back blends in with the ocean bottom. A great white shark's triangular serrated teeth allow them to hunt and eat their primary prey, the seal, more efficiently. Electroreception in white sharks is their sixth sense, and it is the ability to detect electrical currents from other living things. Countercurrent exchange is specialized blood vessel structure, and it allows great whites to maintain body temperature higher than the surrounding water. The short fin mako sharks have strong caudal keels so that they can swim faster. They have countershading, just like a great white shark. Their slim, lean body reduces drag when they're swimming. Their smooth, curved teeth aid in hunting for slippery fish because they lock into the fish so that the fish can't swim away. They have countercurrent exchange, also like the great white shark. And their ability to adjust orientation of dermal denticles helps to maneuver at high speeds. The thresher shark's long upper lobe of their caudal fin is used to stun prey. The thresher can use its tail to kill multiple fish at a time. Most sharks kill only one prey item at a time and are less efficient than the thresher. Another adaptation is their long pectoral fins, which are used to swim more efficiently. Their small edge curved teeth aid in catching prey and eating small fish. The hammerhead sharks have wide set eyes for panoramic vision. They can see much farther than most other sharks. They have advanced and more electroreception because of their oddly shaped head, it has more space. Their head allows the hammerhead to pin down stingrays, their main food source. They have a special muscle that allows up and down movement of their head. Their serrated teeth aid in catching and eating prey. Nurse sharks have spiracles, which help a shark to breathe when they are not swimming. They also have barbels, which are whisker-like appendages that help the nurse shark find prey. Another adaptation is that the nurse shark has no lower lobe on the caudal fin. Nurse sharks are bottom dwelling, so the lower lobe would scrape on the ground. Their tiny serrated teeth are for eating crustaceans. Some other sharks that have spiracles are the smooth and spiny dogfish, wabagong sharks, and epaulette sharks. Sharks are amazing creatures that have proven they can adapt to an ever-changing environment, but as humans, we need to be more educated about the effect we have on all animals. Despite having lived on this planet for more than 400 million years, many species of sharks are being threatened with extinction due to finning, overfishing, bycatch, and sport fishing. We need to protect these apex predators because they play an essential role in the ecosystem. To learn more about how you can get involved, visit AtlanticWhiteShark.org.